Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Trucking Journey. I'm Trucker Jim. I know I'm still wearing the same shirt as the last video, but we just have ended the previous episode. But we're stopped doing uh, Demetrius's break and look at here, people. This did not come from Walmart or Kroger. This came from my mother's garden. It was actually in the ground Saturday. I'm getting ready to cut it up in some pieces, use some of my grass-fed butter, and get it cooking. And, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes later, I'm going to put a couple mahi-mahi fillets in there. And Well, Demetrius and I, we're on our way to Dillon, South Carolina. We're going to have a delicious, nutritious lunch there. people we are backed up to a dock in Dillon South Carolina good job on that backing by the way D Thank you, here's lunch -ha -ha! A little fresh broccoli from the garden and mahi mahi D come get you some of this mahi and broccoli <laughs> Ten four drop. wow Delicious trucker, Jim. Well, I hope it is. <laughs> Man, I love broccoli. I absolutely love mahi. Mahi and broccoli. <laughs> been bragging on my man Demetrius and his backing skills. We're going to see what he's got. We are at Continental Tire in Sumter, South Carolina, and he is setting up to back right there in door 18. And after just a little pull around, pull up, he has got himself set up very nicely for it. Really don't get any better than that. Good job, D. That was perfect. like so much about manufacturing facilities. GE always has a bunch of Canadian geese. Continental Cop Tire has got families of Canadian geese. But we're gonna get a little video of Demetrius's hookup to our trailer that we're taking to Smyrna, Tennessee, on the Nissan. That's the trailer we're getting there, guys. 7229. Demetrius setting up. Maneuvering his cell so he can get straight. And gonna hook up the 
that trailer thing. So, so we can see the kingpin is locked in place. sanctuary out here. Look, there's a mallard duck, people. It's beautiful. And there is his lady friend, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> yeah, the male has the green head and the mallard, and that's the female there. She's just brown. She's going to check on him. Look at her. There he is over here. He's like, I'm out of here. Looks like a chihuahua turd, too. There it is, people. Goose food. Columbia and I tell you whoever the engineer that designed this truck stop here they're kind of an asshole it is pretty tight parking in here but the man blindsided it in here last night but I am walking up to the pilot to take a shower and we're gonna be getting on the road here shortly man is already in the shower. I hit snooze and then watch the video that we uploaded last night. Maybe you've seen it. It's called Trucking Season and there was some great drone footage in it. 
I don't know if this episode is going to have drone footage in it or not. I know so far, it does not. Now sometimes, before coffee or before a shower, I'm not ready to talk to other human beings yet. Well, if you're like that too and you're at the um, pilot and want a shower, well, you don't have to go up and say, shower. You can go to the kiosk here. You just tap showers. Oh, it's out of paper. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to talk to somebody after all. And currently, there's not a shower available. They said it'll be a few minutes. I could have been sleeping a few more minutes. All right, I am finally in the shower. And I know there's been a lot of really cool things on the truck and journey here lately. Awesome road footage, epic road footage, places like the blind squirrel. The list goes on and on. But you know one thing you haven't seen here before? A slow motion truck driver shower scene. Well, guess what, people? Today is not that day. All right, fresh from the shower. That is much better. All I need now is a cup of hard-boiled eggs, a delicious cup of French press coffee, and I'll be ready to knock out a couple hundred miles, which I will be doing. Ooh, look at there, Massey. Fat tire. That's a pretty good beer. Massey has become a bit of a beer connoisseur up there in Louisville. I think he's Louisville's number one beer man. But let me get my breakfast going and get on the road and uh, I don't know, maybe we can catch a, a good sunrise or something. It's kind of hard to do that when you're heading west, but anything can happen out here on the road, people. All right, this is some beach coffee, people. Look at these beautiful beans. Nice and dark. And... Mmm, smells pretty nice. I can't let much of this song play or the copyright police will get me. This sounds like Let's Zep. All right. Coffee steeping. Got some eggs with salt and pepper, but also I started doing something new. Like just calling these vitamins is a bit of an understatement. This is for human optimization, people. But if we look in the box, there's a day pack and a night pack. We're gonna go with the day pack. And included in here is Alpha Brain. I think it's supposed to make you smarter and your brain work faster and you remember better. We all could use that. some epic drone footage of it.
going on YouTube? It's your man, D-Man. And I just wanted to give you a heads up on how things went today. We are actually just leaving Smyrna, Tennessee, which is where the Nissan manufacturing plant is located. And I was pre-warned by Trucker Jim that this was a very, very challenging place to deliver freight to. Uh, the holes are very tight here, uh, and the trailers are, are, are really close together, and they, they're positioned in a way that's, that's kind of awkward. They're, they're at a slight angle, and there's not much swing room to get in. Um, now, we're in a, a, a sleeper, uh, and from what I saw, I mainly saw day cabs there, and I can see why. Uh, it, it's definitely not a place uh, that a sleeper tractor trailer would typically go to. Well, you, you can go there, but ideally it's designed for day cabs. So anyway, we got it in there. I got it in there, no problem. Uh, I was safe, I didn't touch anything. Definitely didn't tear anything up. So I prevailed. So now we are headed to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, there was supposed to be an empty trailer here for us, but there's no empty here. So you know what that means. That means I have to bobtail all the way from Smyrna, Tennessee to Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's over a hundred miles bobtailing and all my truck drivers know exactly what that means. But for those that don't know, that basically means uh, driving without a trailer on your back. From there, we're taking a load to my hometown, Atlanta, Georgia. Shout out to Atlanta. So anyway, uh, I'm excited about that and just wanted to let you know how things went today. So, alrighty, till next time. Hey D, truckers gotta keep moving, man, if you want comma checks. That's Let's right. roll. YouTube, it's time to wrap up this episode. We uh, made it to Chattanooga, delivered a load to Atlanta last night, and now we are in Covington, Georgia, here at FiberVision. But D, this stuff here is absorbent paper that goes in diapers. So you always have to sweep out the trailer. Guess they don't want dirt going in a diaper, right? But Demetrius and I both want to thank you guys for taking the time to make it to the end of this video. Alrighty guys, that'll do it. Like, subscribe, and give a big thumbs up. Right? Just like this guy right here. Yeah, he's got a YouTube channel too. But we'll see all of you guys next time. But until then, be safe out there and keep on trucking.